Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I posted. The last time I posted, I was in Ghana. I'm currently back home now, but I do have a video of my dorm room while I was on campus. So at the University of Ghana, I stayed at the International Student Hostel 1, also known as ISH 1. So that is the international hostel for international students. But there's also Ghanaian students that live there and also other students from like other countries. So basically I think there's five floors there. Uh, they're usually like sectioned by gender. So the first floor is males, second floor is females, third floor is male, female. male again, fourth floor female, and then five floor, the fifth floor is kind of mixed depending on the students that need rooms. In each floor I believe there's a washing room and a kitchen. Um, but the best kitchen is on the first floor, which is where I stayed. So there was a lot of people there at our kitchen wanting to cook, and it's really nice. A lot of people get together there um, just to talk. You don't have to necessarily cook there. Um, every floor has a washing room. Every floor has four bathrooms, and the four bathrooms each have showers as well. At Ish One, there is like a little hair salon and nail salon. Downstairs on the first floor, we have a lady who cooks food. I would go there when I was too lazy to walk to night market and her food is pretty good. I got a lot of indome and french fries. <laughs> um, I think I got rice and stew a few times too, which is yummy. It's really nice. Downstairs on the first floor, we also have like a little market. Uh, you can get like drinks, snacks, basically um, cereal, milk, juice, Small stuff like that, no like actually food food aside from like eggs, bread, but basically like the necessities. The lady that runs us there is also really nice. At Ish One, actually in front of every hall around campus, there's porters at Ish One. If you have a guest come, the guest has to bring like an ID and they have to check in and out with the porters, which I think that's the only thing that differs from the other halls. We can go ahead and get started. This is my desk. I bought these little containers to hold my makeup, my brushes, like school supplies, contacts, all those good things. Uh, I bought this mirror at night market, hung my jewelry on it, decorated my desk a little bit. This is what it looks like further away. On top of that, I used it for storage. Um, right next to it I had like my little snack area or what I would use to cook in the kitchen or some juices here after we returned our fridge. Another little point perspective view. So I had my bed and my chair. Over here there's a hook you can put your bed net. I used to have a mosquito net but I eventually took that out as a semester progressed. On top of my closet, I used it for storage, not really neat, I apologize, but just things that I didn't really know where to put. Let's go ahead and look at my closets. I kind of decorated very minimally, just things I had around. I recommend bringing pictures if you want. I put stickers on my door because I thought they were cute. Uh, here's a look at my closet. It's actually pretty spacious. I feel like I had a lot of clothes and I had room for more. There was two drawers. I didn't really use them or need them as much. I just stored more shoes down there. My heels. <laughs> and then I couldn't open this one, but it was the same size. I bought some hooks and I hung some bags up there. This is Vanessa's side. She was more simple. She didn't really have a lot of stuff. This is her two little kitties. So adorable. And a stick we found in town. <laughs> she also used the top of her closet for storage. She got a mirror. And she also had hooks to hang her bags. This is our small little kitchen area. We used to have a fridge, but then we ended up returning it. This was recorded almost before we were leaving. So let's take a look outside at our balcony. It was pretty peaceful out here, very cute. A lot of trees um, here, like 
birds oh there's also bats in the trees but they never like come near you or anything a bucket um, for like in case the water goes out you can go get water I recommend getting a bucket and then Vanessa took her chair out so we kept it there that's for hanging your clothes So if we go outside, my room is pretty close to the bathroom, so there was four showers and four bathroom stalls. This was a view from outside of our room. People take their clothes out there to dry, and those black things are water. Just in case the water goes out, you go downstairs to fill it there. I hope you enjoyed my little tour video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Like I said, um, I recommend getting like a bucket just in case the water ever goes out. Um, or just to do your laundry, wash small items or large items. Like I said, you can also get a fridge. Vanessa and I rented ours. And then at the end of the semester, we called the lady, she came to pick it up. It was nice because if you got food, sometimes the portions were too big, so you could always keep it down there. We did not have a microwave, but if you make friends around the hostel, um, people are really nice. Like you can just ask them to use a microwave and more than likely they will say yes. We did not have a blender either. We asked people to borrow their blender when we needed to. We did have a cutting board and a knife. What else? Am I missing something? Hmm. I don't know. I think I got everything. But overall, I loved staying at Ish One. I feel like uh, there was always people there. So you can always find someone to talk to. Uh, it's really nice to learn about where other people are from. I think that was my favorite part. Just meeting new people and making friends from other places of the world. So I hope you like this. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, DM me, follow me, anything. I hope you like my room. <laughs> Bye. Oh, like and subscribe. Thank you.